But something a little different now. The recent federal election hasn't given Australian football lovers much to cheer about, unless you're a supporter of the Central Coast Mariners. A promise from Labour leader Julia Gillard providing a much-needed boost to the club's training facilities. This is a $39 million development that is proposed. If re-elected, the Gillard government will invest $10 million in this new facility. And with that, the Mariners' training facilities went from being the worst in the country to the best. But it's not just the ground they're upgrading, it's the whole thing. And they've been nice enough to show us around. Filled with rabbits, snakes and the odd swooping magpie, the Mariners' training grounds don't look too impressive. But there are grand plans in the works for the site at Tuggera. The 3,000 seat stadium will go uh, over here and, um, and you'll have your two training pitches here that will be realigned to the, to the stadium pitch. And then you've got some multi-purpose courts, um, you've got the redevelopment of the Leagues Club and uh, of course the state of the art sports science department. More than enough to help give the Central Coast the edge they've been looking for. From what Laurie tells me, they had uh, 15 to 18 different training fields. Uh, councils will close down the, the fields on them uh, when, they were, when there was a lot of rain. Uh, we've got control of this one, we don't have to do that. So it's quite nice to turn up for work every day and, and hear the birds in the background and know that there's some red-bellied black stakes outside the fence and, and the traffic in the distance. The only football facility of its kind in the country to be built on the current site the Tugra RSL. No, this isn't a tennis court. This is a state-of-the-art sports science department. But what we're looking at is hydrotherapy pools, um, ice baths, spas, swimming pools, um, treatment rooms for, for our physios, um, and all the, the, the technology that goes with sports science. It should attract a lot of the, uh, the good and best kids in Australia to the, to the Central Coast because they know they're going to be looked after. The jewel in the crown, though, will no doubt be what's to come on this big pile of dirt. A boutique 3,000 seat stadium. Boutique so, stadium? Boutique, yes. It'll be where our national youth team play. This complex will be for the whole of the Central Coast community. It's not just a Mariners thing, it's not just a World Cup training venue thing. Um, it's to service the whole community and we want to embrace our community like we have done for the first five years of the A-League. They're still a few years away from world-class facilities and most of these players won't even be at the club when construction's finished. But the Mariners and the A-League aren't looking to the next three years, it's the next 30. Patrick Dybell, World Football News.